In this tutorial, I'd like to cover the use of Natris Levels and Curves effects in your DSLR post-production workflow. One of the downsides of shooting video with a DSLR is that the picture styles that ship with Canon and Nikon cameras often bake into the footage unnecessary contrast curves, saturation, and sharpening. This makes it easy to lose detail in the picture and hard to color correct the footage. It's become very common to set up a DSLR to shoot flat. Even the factory neutral presets aren't enough. You can find some great user-generated preset settings with a simple web search specific to your camera. Additionally, Technicolor CineStyle is available for Canon cameras. This installs settings into the camera, which changes the Canon from standard H.264 Rec. 709 color space to a log-like color space. Another method to increase the dynamic range over the camera's stock settings. I have some very different Canon clips on my timeline. The first one was shot using the stock picture settings. I'll drop the curves effect on this clip. The log mode drop down defaults to curves for video gamma. We generally use this setting on footage captured in video gamma, the format of most consumer and prosumer video cameras. For this footage, I like that setting, so I'll stick with it. I'll start with an S-curve from the presets and adjust it according to taste while keeping my eye on the waveform monitor. The second clip was shot with a simple manually entered flat profile. I'll drop the curves effect on it. I'll set the log mode to log to video, then curves. I get three additional settings under the log to video curve setting. Log Cineon to video is for anything that conforms to the Cineon spec, such as scanned film or red log film exports. Log A is for low contrast footage, such as the Arri Alexa when it's using their Log C setting. Log B is for Canon Log or Sony Log, which tend to be video log hybrids rather than pure log. This clip works well with the Log to Video curve set to Log Cineon to Video. I'll make some slight adjustments to the toe to crush my blacks a little more and adjust the knee and white settings so the footage is bright enough but I'm not blowing out the highlights in the water and sky. I always keep my eye on the waveform monitor to make sure I'm not overdoing anything. My third clip is some Canon footage shot using Technicolor CineStyle. I'll set the log mode to log to video then curves. This clip works well with the log to video curve set to log Cineon to video. Again, I'll start with an S-curve from the presets and adjust it according to taste and feedback from the waveform monitor. No matter which color space your camera operates in, Natris Levels and Curves operates in the film log color space, which allows you precise control over where in the tonal range the curves affect the image and a wide dynamic range for processing. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great plugins, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at noiseindustries.com. Thank you.